Today saw the release of the monarchy's annual financial statement, where a multi-million pound renovation of Buckingham Palace helped to drive up the cost of royal living. Uh, spending has increased by some 15 million pounds. Sir Michael Stevens, the keeper of the privy purse, says it continues to be a challenging time for the monarchy, even though the annual review of the royal household reflected a return to post-lockdown normality. Travel, investitures, garden parties, all starting up again post-COVID. We're joined by Charles Ray, a former royal correspondent at The Sun. Hi to you, Charles. Uh, they're, getting Hello, more they're getting more expensive, these royals. Well, yes, they are. But uh, there, there is this um, uh, fund that has uh, £360 million pounds that's uh, extra that's helping to refurbish Buckingham Palace. Now, that's going to be paid for over 10 years and it ends in 2007. So that puts up the sovereign grant. But the royal family, like other companies, other institutions, has also suffered as a result of COVID. And over the last two or three years, it's lost £18 million pounds in revenue from people, you know, coming in and, uh, uh, you know, visiting the palaces and buying various gifts at the various shops. So it's, it's yes, there is, a, there is a £15 million pound deficit, which has been repaid, if you like, because the royal family have dipped into the reserve reserve fund. Uh, and, you know, people tend to sort of look at it, oh, well, the royals, they cost so much money, we shouldn't have them. It's still only £1.29 per head of the population. And I don't think it's that bad a deal, to be perfectly honest. Charles, could, can you just clear up something for me, for me? Because I'm not entirely sure on this, even now, on my ground on this, that there's the sovereign grant. People keep referring to it as as money from the taxpayer. My understanding is the sovereign grant comes, derives from the Crown Estate. And the Crown Estate is, yeah. a, a, is a property portfolio, isn't it? It includes things like large parts of Regent Street. And it used to belong to the royal family. There is a property portfolio, uh, the, the, you're absolutely right, the Crown Estate, but the sovereign grant is the money that we, you, me, and everyone else who's watching pay for the, uh, in taxes, for the upkeep of the royal family, for their official duties also for the running of the royal households. Um, and that doesn't include the Prince of Wales, who he has his money from the Duchy of Cornwall. Um, so there, there is a lot of money uh, around in terms of the property portfolio. The, 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 most of the, the royal palaces are owned by the state in any case. Um, and they, you know, they're very expensive um, uh, you know, to run, but they're also good assets. And they've spent a few bob, Charles, on this, uh, getting the lawyers in to look at whether Meghan's a bully. Uh, well, I, I mean, I'm astounded. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite annoyed because this was something that they announced in March last year because various people uh, complained that Meghan had bullied them. Allegedly, she's completely denied all this. So the Queen brought in a private, um, uh, some lawyers to carry out an investigation and they promised that the result of this investigation we would know about in this publication of this um, sovereign grant uh, uh, publication today. Uh, and what they've done is they've said, we're not going to let it know, it's confidential. Um, I think as a result of it, we are paying these people, we are paying the royal family an awful lot of money. And I think it's right, it's in the public interest if one of them is being accused, very much like Prince Andrew, who, who denied all his allegations, and very much like Harry and Meghan, if they've been accused of various things, then we should know the result of any investigation. It should not be hidden away. And interestingly, I think they're doing Meghan a disservice because if, there's, if she has to be exonerated, then they're not exonerating her. In fact, they're saying that there are changes in their HR department of, 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 of dealing with staff, which gives you the impression that the girl has done something wrong. So we, we're now left with, is Meghan a bully? Is Meghan not a bully? Yeah, and we look at the number of people who decided they couldn't work with her and we arrive at our own conclusions, don't we? Charles Ray. Exactly. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, All the best. Cheers, Charles.